Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'll be sharing with you more of my Lego minifigure collections. This is going to be part 3. Part 1 of part 3. Because I'm separating my Marvel minifigures with my DC Comics minifigures. So this will be part 1 is Marvel and part 2 is DC. Starting here, it's Carnage, with his little arms and tentacles. You can actually move the arm so he's standing like this. He's standing on his arms like that. It'll work better when it's on a table and not on my bed, but... Next is a Scarlet... No, not Scarlet Witch. My Black Widow keychain. I get the keychains and take off the keychain part and just get the minifigures because when they're on sale, they're really cheap and I don't like carrying around big keychains because it's weighs too much. So, next I have two. Captain America's. They're both different styles. This one has a signature regular blue style. The one that's in the comics and probably the, mo the movie too, I believe. And this one is has a red tint to it. I like both versions equally, because Cap is my second favorite Marvel superhero after Spider-Man. Here I got the Spider-Man and Green Goblin from the Micro Fighters, or the Micro Minis. I love his expression here because he's like all confused. And he does have a pumpkin with him, but it's with, um, it's in my minifigure set right now. Or my mocks right now, so he doesn't have his pumpkin with him, but can try to find that later on in China. Next we have another version of Spidey with on his jumper. The jumpers do work. Not, re not really well on a box, but just push down and jump. I like this play feature, but it's hard to take the minifigures on and off, so once they're on the play feature, you got to keep them on there or risk damaging the legs. Have we got another version of Spidey? I like his costume. It's all black and red. It looks really neat. The back printing. That's all for my Marvel minifigures. Next I'll be showing you my DC figures in the next video. Part 2. Hope you all enjoyed and have a great day.